Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some layering combinations that you need in your life, okay? They're perfect for this time of the year, for the holiday season, for December, for when it's cold, or, you know, some of them when it's not cold, but a lot of them are gourmand, they're yummy, they're spicy. So if you wanna see what concoctions your girl has been whipping up in the lab, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And also, leave me your scent of the day. So jumping right in, we're going to start with Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. If you guys are no stranger to this channel, you know that I love this fragrance, as you can see from my dent. Look at this dent, y'all. This is a serious dent. This fragrance is at half. I love it, y'all, so much. But it doesn't perform well on me. Like, I get maybe three to four hours on my skin with this fragrance but it just smells so good like I wish this had a little bit of patchouli a little bit of oud something to make it stand up and ground the fragrance so it can really do something on my skin I did a reel on Instagram featuring this and a lot of you guys said it lasts hours and hours on y'all skin I'm hating and I'm jealous because I love this fragrance so much and I wish it would last on me but I have to layer this fragrance I showed you guys a combination that I did with Vanilla 28 and Champagne, Apple, and Honey from Bath & Body Works, and I absolutely love that combo, but I found a new combination that I wanna share with you guys. So Bright Christmas Morning, I showed this in my last layering video. Y'all need to get this, okay? Because it goes with so many of your fragrances, and I feel like the longer I have it, the more I realize there's so many more fragrances in my collection that it pairs beautifully with. So this one has ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. The same notes that's in here. Obviously there's more notes in here, but this also has a bright red apple. There's wild berries, there's like raspberries. There's um, blood orange. I believe there's orange blossom in here as well. This is a beautiful scent and they pair so well together. So Bright Christmas Morning is at Bath & Body Works right now as we speak. And I believe they're on sale because as you're seeing this video, this should be, if it's in stock, this should be $5.95 for the body cream and also $5.95 for the body spray. Layer these two, spray Eden Juicy Apple if you're having issues and get your life, okay? So Eden Juicy Apple and Bright Christmas Morning by Bath & Body Works. So the next combination is featuring the Fenty Cinnamon Butter Drop. Let me give this a hot little minute, y'all, because this right here is a pure obsession. I am obsessed with this and I keep buying them. I'm not buying anymore, but y'all, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be smelling like a cinnamon cupcake winter, spring, summer, and fall. I've come to terms with it. I don't care. I have so many containers of this and I'm going to use them, y'all. I'm obsessed with this scent. First of all, this is one of the most loudest body creams I've ever smelled. If you're someone that doesn't like wearing fragrance or you're allergic to fragrance, but you just wanna wear a body cream, listen to me when I tell you, if you like the scent of cinnamon, it smells like a cinnamon cupcake, like a cinnamon vanilla cupcake, you need this if you can get it because it's limited edition and y'all, first of all, the scent is so decadent, okay? It smells, like I said, like a cinnamon cupcake. So the scent is on point. It's loud. People are going to smell this body cream on you because it is a very loud projecting body cream that will leave a scent trail, okay? And it moisturizes your skin. Your skin will be nice and glossy. It absorbs into your skin quickly. But after it's absorbed, guys, it leaves a very faint very fine when i say very very fine gold dust all over your skin you just look like a superstar shining like y'all this is so freaking amazing rihanna is a billionaire for good reason okay because her products are on point so i have a lot of fragrances that i'm going to show you that pairs beautifully with this cream so the first one is my thanksgiving scent of the day what well, was my thanksgiving scent of the day I did the Fenty Cream, Champagne Apple and Honey Body Spray by the Body Bath and Body Works, and 
angel share good old angel share y'all this is my thanksgiving scent last thanksgiving and it's my thanksgiving scent this year it'll probably be my thanksgiving scent next year i've just come to terms with the fact that angel share is the official scent of thanksgiving period for me at least <laughs> so this combo was perfect i was in the house so i wore this to the living room i didn't want to be too cinnamony too boozy too extra because it was like just us <laughs> and you know i didn't want to have too much of because this is strong this is polarizing this can get very in your face so i layered it with this the champagne apple and honey just to add a little sweetness just to make it a little bit more playful and y'all this was everything so champagne apple and honey it has crisp apple sparkling champagne jasmine honey and autumn woods Angel share with the fancy cream. I mean, it's a match made. Why would you not? <laughs> so let me tell y'all something. So I did my Bath and Body Works body spray video and I was sharing with you guys fragrances from Bath and Body Works that I feel don't smell cheap that are amazing that you need to have. So one of my subbies, I'm not sure, was it Nicole? But one of my subbies asked if they can layer the Bath and Body Works a Cinnamon and Sandalwood Body Cream that I featured in a couple of videos in the past with Strychnina. This fragrance right here by Vicanto. So I was like, hmm, I'm sure you can because I mean, this has cinnamon and that body cream has cinnamon and sandalwood. So when I thought about it, I was like, hmm, cinnamon? Let me try to layer it with the Fenty Cream, y'all. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, first of all, my subby who suggested the cinnamon, who reminded me that cinnamon is in Strychnina. Girl, you're the real MVP. And yes, you can definitely layer this with cinnamon and sandalwood by Bath & Body Works if you can't get a hold of the Fenty Cream. But if y'all can get a hold of the Fenty Cream and you have Strychnina, layer them together and thank me later okay thank me later all right y'all don't understand when i did this i was like feeling myself so much so hard i wore this to the mall i got one compliment you know whatever it's nothing crazy but it's all good i was complimenting myself like girl you smell amazing you smell incredible like my confidence level was all the way all the way all the way up because these two right here this is super fruity. This has passion fruit. This has orange blossom. This has a bunch of fruity notes, some white floral notes. I believe it has sugar and some like candy notes as well, but it also has cinnamon. And this cinnamon that smells like a sweet, sugary vanilla cupcake paired with strychnina. <sighs> Listen, I feel like if y'all have this and y'all don't have strychnina, y'all need to get strychnina just to layer with this. And if you have strychnina and you don't have this, then you need to get the Fenty Cream to layer with this. I'm telling y'all, this cream is gonna go with so many of your fragrances. If you love spicy fragrances, if you love gourmand fragrances, sweet fragrances, you need this. The obsession is real. I have a haul coming up and I'm gonna show you guys all the Fenty <laughs> cinnamon creams that I have. I feel like I'm about to sell them because they're limited edition and y'all, I'm scared. I don't want them to sell out because this is everything. So Strychnina and the Fenty um, Cinnamon Cream. Now, you can save 20% on SoAvantGarde.com using my discount code, TheGreat20, and get you some Strychnina because this is beautiful. I don't see who wouldn't love this sweet, fruity, beautiful fragrance. It's a fruity floor fragrance. It's a niche fragrance. To me, it leans feminine. Um, I guess a man can wear it, but it leans feminine to me. It's fruity floral. It's sweet. It's a little spicy. I love it. And paired together, get your life. Now, uh, listen, this is going to stay in my hand, okay? Because I have a lot more fragrances to pair with this. So, I showed you this side effects in the other layering video that I layered it with um, the sandalwood and cinnamon cream from Bath & Body Works. And it's beautiful. I love it with that. But y'all, the cinnamon cupcake with side effects, <sighs> nobody was smelling better than me. I mean, I'm just... 
being honest. Like, you know, life is about honesty and being honest and sharing your true thoughts and what really happens in your life. And I'm doing that on this channel. And I'm just letting you know that nobody was smelling better than me the day that I wore side effects paired with this. Because this right here, if you're not familiar with this fragrance, this has tobacco, this has rum, and this has cinnamon. Now, it's not a safe flying by. I believe this one leans a little bit more unisex. It's not feminine, but it's super sexy. So if you like fragrances that smell cinnamony, like a sweet Jamaican rum cake like dessert, but not like your decadent vanilla cake dessert, it's a little smoky, a little cinnamony. It lasts forever on your skin. This is amazing, okay? And these two together, love them. Now, the last one that I wanna show you with the Fenty Cream, I mean, I have so many, y'all. Like, I can do a part three, four, five, six, seven with this cream right here. So, I did the cream, and then I sprayed my Sheriosa 71 on top of it, and it's lovely. Like, if you don't wanna wear fragrance, these two together for bedtime is like a nice, sweet, decadent type of scent, and it lasts long on my skin, and paired with this, it's really, really nice. But... I didn't stop there. Y'all are gonna be so happy. For y'all who have purchased Kaoli's Vanilla Royale, I still can't get this name right, y'all. Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli number 64. Oh, yes, that's the name. Y'all will love this if you feel like this is not sweet enough for you. So if you have this and you're not gonna sell it and you feel like you're stuck with it, obviously if you have this in Vanilla 28, layer this with Vanilla 28. I didn't bring Vanilla 28 here only because I feel like it's a no-brainer layering combination. You guys have probably done that already. But this right here, because this has spices. It doesn't say what spices. It just says spicy notes. This, with this like caramel, salted, macadamia nut scent, with this fragrance that has creme brulee, but you guys who feel like the creme brulee doesn't come out on your skin quick enough because it will come out in the very very dry down okay like maybe an hour or two after because the patchouli and the oud in this fragrance is dancing okay like that's really to the forefront and if you're not a fan of those notes then although it says sugared patchouli it's still patchouli patchouli is patchouli whether you sugar it or not okay but if you want it to smell a little bit sweeter on your skin layer these three together y'all it's going to be more gourmand more decadent it's going to smell more of that creme brulee type of scent that you guys want i'm telling y'all vanilla royale the fancy cream and sheriosa 71. now when it comes to vanilla royale there's also some more pairings that i want to share with you guys so by bath and body works midnight amber glow the body cream the body spray amazing okay like you guys can't see my dent i can see my dent you guys can't see my dent i'm almost down here by the white line like that's where i am y'all because i've been spraying the heck out of this aside from the fact that i love it so much it's like a kaoli fragrance that i didn't think that i would love so much also i'm trying to get combinations for y'all <laughs> so i paired these two together and i was like i gotta tell the girls because this is amazing smooth amber caramel latte and vanilla bourbon it just sweetens it up and adds a little bit more gourmand touch to it especially for you guys that don't want that oud patchouli and rum to stand up on your skin and you want something a little bit more sweet i'm telling y'all this together i keep telling y'all thank me later okay <laughs> now Another one that pairs beautifully with Vanilla Royale is Wrapped in Vanilla. Now let's talk about this one right here really, really quickly. This is a newer scent for the holiday. And when I tell y'all, this is the most beautiful vanilla scent from Bath & Body Works that I've smelled. Now, if you guys have been following my channel, oh, oh my goodness, it smells like vanilla cake or like a cake batter or something. This smells so good, y'all. And layer it with this and get your life. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for the past two years that I've been on YouTube, I've been doing layering videos since the very start of my channel. This is nothing new, okay? I have a whole playlist. You can go back, the receipts are there. Now, when I, I featured vanilla, what is, I don't even remember the name of it. That vanilla 
um, scent from Bath and Body Works that everybody speaks about that everyone loves. I don't like it anymore. I had it like years ago and it smelled different to me. Now I don't smell anything. The notes of this one is soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. This is another one that's gonna pair with a lot of your fragrances, okay? I can see this one with Oriana by Parfums de Marly because of the Chantilly cream and the vanilla. Although there's velvet sugar. I'm, I don't know what velvet sugar is, but I feel like this and Oriana is gonna be a vibe. I haven't layered them just yet, but I'm, I plan to do it because of that Chantilly cream and the vanilla and the sugar. But right here, right now, Vanilla Royale with Wrapped in Vanilla is a whole vibe. This is newer to the Bath & Body Works um arsenal so you can get this online and you can get it in store but get it fast because it smells amazing and y'all know the fragrances or the scents that smell really good go really really fast so the last pairing that i want to share with you with vanilla royale we're going to do fresh cream warm cashmere by philosophy you guys know this is the body cream on a scale of one to ten the moisture i want to say is about a six and a half it's not super moisturizing, but the scent is super potent, okay? The scent is very, very strong. It's a lotion, not a cream, so it's not gonna give you like the ultimate moisture, but just layer like an oil before this and you'll be just fine. <laughs> so, Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere Body Cream and then the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere Fragrance. You guys know I love this already. I mean, like honestly, this is literally out the door, but I have a backup. <laughs> With Vanilla Royale, just give me a moment of silence right here for the smell goods that's going on in my head because this right here, y'all, was so good. I wore this to bed. Typically, I wouldn't wear a scent like this to bed only because it has the rum, it has the patchouli, it has the oud. It's a very loud fragrance, okay, and it lasts forever. So for me, going to bed, I like to smell sweet. I layered this. I just, like, this is what I was going to bed in, okay? Keeping it real, keeping it funky. So I said, let me spray a little spritz of this on top of this. And y'all, I was like, wait, what? First of all, did you just really make fresh cream warm cashmere last like eight hours on my skin? Did you really just do that? Like, did it really just lock onto each other and like started playing together and did not want to let each other go? This is another one that's not like a vanilla pod vanilla extract type of scent it's more like a cupcake or like a vanilla cream or cookie dough or something like that that's what it smells like so it's kind of giving you the vibe of wrapped in vanilla it's like along those lines but so much more sweet in my opinion although i love wrapped in vanilla but it's just something about the fresh cream warm cashmere that's so addictive, y'all. And layer these two together and get your life, okay? All right, speaking of cakes and cupcakes and desserts and things of that nature, let's just go on right ahead to Christmas Cookies by Bath & Body Works. So Christmas Cookies has creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. And it smells amazing okay i love how it smells for the holidays if you like to smell like cookies and cakes oh and cake batter it almost smells a little bit charred to me on my skin like they probably left the cookie in the oven for like a little bit maybe five minutes longer than they should have been a little charred that's what this smells like and i'm obsessed i love this packaging of this this year it's so cute it actually looks like a cookie like a christmas cookie i love how this looks now about two months ago right or maybe three months ago i was in macy's at the count not at the counter i was at macy's at the register paying for a fragrance i believe it was my Burberry Her Elixir. So that might have been three months ago or something. I'm not sure. But I saw these little Clinique bottles at the register. And I picked this up like, hmm, Clinique? Um, cookies and Kisses? What is this? So I picked it up while she's, you know, ringing me up. I smelled it and was like, hello, excuse me. Um, stop, please. You need to add this to the list. Add this to the, the, the tender. Add this to your register do whatever you need to do but i'm getting this right here y'all this smells so good okay let me tell you the notes because i did write the notes down of this so this has pink pepper bergamot apple chestnut 
pimento, guyac wood, sandalwood, and ambroxan. Now, it smells like a charred, burnt, spicy cookie. That's what it smells like. One of those hard cookies, not a soft cookie or like cookie dough or anything. It smells like a cookie that's been in the oven probably a little bit too long. You know what I mean? Like y'all are like drinking some eggnog. The eggnog is spiked. Y'all are watching Christmas movies and having a good old time and you forgot the cookies in the oven. <laughs> that's what this smells like to me. Y'all, this was like $20. I kid you not. Maybe less than $20. I did get the small. I, this probably comes in a larger size. I don't even know. But when I was at the register, it was this. There was a purple um, little bottle like this. There was a orange one and the pink one I think I need to smell all of them because after smelling cookies and kisses this is everything and paired together first of all look how they match look how they match like honestly this is perfect for the house whatever errands you're running it's not a heavy day it's a light day but you want to smell fun and festive get you this right here and do it with this cookies um Christmas cookies y'all are gonna feel so uplifted so happy and smell so decadent and smell like a true snack okay like i said it smells like cookies that's been baking in the oven a little bit too long a little bit char a little bit spicy amazing now another pairing with cookie christmas cookies <laughs> is eilish by billy eilish y'all this is another one that smells like cookies cupcakes it smells like dessert i love how this smells i went back and forth with this fragrance for a while but honestly like I had to get it because I kept smelling it. This retailed, I wanna say, I think I paid $40 for this. Um, One of my subbies was like, not you buying a, a celebrity fragrance. Now, to keep it 1000% with you, I had no idea who Billie Eilish was, okay? I know that this fragrance came out, I saw this bottle and I was like, wow, like the bottle is like art, okay? This doesn't look like a regular celebrity fragrance bottle. Um, to me, like I'm thinking like Mariah Carey, uh, Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, uh, Ariana Grande. Those are celebrities that I know of. I had no idea who Billie Eilish was until this fragrance. And honestly, I really don't care because the fragrance smells so good to me. It's a very complex, spicy vanilla that I don't think it's for everybody. And I don't think it's a safe wine buy, but I love it and pair it with this because to me, it smells like cookies. It smells like a snack. It smells like now, you know what I mean? Like it smells like this time of the year. Perfect for Christmas, perfect for the holiday season. It is amazing and paired with this, everything. All right, y'all, so the next pairing is featuring by Kayali, Love Fest Burning Cherry number 48. Now, if you're not new to this channel, then you already know how I feel about this fragrance. If you're new here, let me explain. So I was sent this fragrance in PR, like all of my other Kayali fragrances. And when I did my video, I shared with you guys that this was not my favorite. It's nice, it's not like a bad scent, you know, by no means. It doesn't stink or anything like that. It smells good, but it just, it just didn't do anything for me. I was missing a wow factor. I was missing something that was going to make me excited. I felt like I was sent this fragrance, so obviously I'm gonna wear it, but I wouldn't purchase it with my own money if I had to. Now, Vanilla Royale, I would purchase with my own coins. Eden Juicy Apple, although she don't last on my skin, I would purchase with my own coins. I would purchase all of them with my own coins. Well, not all, but the majority of them but this is one that I would not purchase with my own money. Now, I found something to layer it with. Now I'm loving it more than I did. Into the Night by Bath and Body Works, y'all. First of all, if you're no stranger to Into the Night, you already know that this is like one of the real MVPs of Bath and Body Works since. This smells so good and it lasts so long. It's not watered down. It's still very potent. It smells amazing. If this was a fragrance, like a niche fragrance with some oud and some patchouli and some woody notes, I would definitely be into it because it smells so good to me. So it opens, not <laughs> so it has raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. This is a sexy scent to me. It's like a sexy date night in the house scent and layered with Love Fest, Burning Cherry number 48. It is perfect. Let me tell you the notes in Love Fest. Actually, they're here. So 
there's burning cherry raspberries pralines palo santo guyac wood and patchouli now in this fragrance the patchouli isn't as sharp and as strong as the patchouli in uh vanilla royale okay i will say that and the cherry note in this fragrance on my skin it disappears within like no time it doesn't stay it opens up very juicy and bright but then it dries down to like like right now like the cherry's gone the cherry is absolutely gone off my skin i am not exaggerating so instead of me focusing on this fragrance as a cherry scent because the cherry is not doing anything on my skin it's just a nice raspberry scent that's what it is for me a raspberry earthy woody type of scent and layered with into the night it's everything and it's actually lasting on my skin about five to six hours as opposed to three to four hours so definitely guys love fest burning cherry and into the night by bath and body works is amazing all right you guys so this is the last layering combo that we're going to talk about and it features four fragrances now the scent that i'm about to share with you right now i was gifted this by skin potions sometime over the summer and i told you guys that the scent of kama sutra is literally like i mean i was born to smell like this if I had to choose a signature like body cream or signature scent to layer with all my fragrances and I had to just choose one, it would be Kama Sutra by Skin Potions, period. Now, I have the Triple Butter, which is so super moisturizing, like literally like it has like 10 or I'm not sure how many essential oils are in here. This is so moisturizing. It is amazing for dry skin and it smells really, really good. It's potent. It's loud. It's everything you would want in a body butter. And I also have the body cream and they both smell very potent, amazing. But they did a thing. They did a thing and they came out with a body oil. What do they call it? A revitalizing body oil. Y'all, this is like a perfume oil, period this is it right here now when you guys get it it this has like bulgarian rose that he imported um when you guys get it it's not gonna have the rose because this has a a spray top and i was getting my life with this and then one day it started to get stuck so i did um hit up skin potions and ray and they like explained to me that it's probably because of the uh the roses so moving forward they're going to remove this and i believe that he ordered pumps for this as well y'all let me tell y'all something the scent of this i couldn't figure out what does this smell like what does it smell like or remind me in my collection that I am obsessed with? What does this smell like? And I figured it out, y'all. For y'all who love Delina Exclusive. Delina Body Cream who? <laughs> Delina Body Cream Weird. Okay, listen to me when I tell y'all. This body oil is everything okay it's gonna be in a favorites video because i mean this is so beautiful y'all the scent of this is so potent when i tell y'all when you when you do the whole kama sutra ritual right with the soap and the scrub and everything but once you dry off and you use the triple butter the body cream and the oil I mean, honestly, y'all, you don't even need a fragrance. But let me share with you the fragrances that I layered with this, with the whole Kama Sutra situation. Because, y'all, honestly, this scent, Ray's about to be a millionaire. Like, this scent is going to blow up skin potions. I don't care. It's my favorite. I have a lot of scents from them. But it's something about the Kama Sutra that I feel like everybody, everybody would love, okay? This has mangoes. It has, I believe it has lychee. There's oud. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is amazing, okay? So what I layered it with, let me just hold it up so y'all can see it. Delina Exclusive, I told y'all. It's like a match made in fragrance heaven. When I tell you, this will never come off of your skin. You have to scrub this off of you because that's how strong this is. This oil latches onto you and it does not go anywhere. Layered with the body cream or the triple butter, 
this i'm telling y'all it will not go anywhere and it smells amazing match made in fragrance heaven okay another fragrance that I, everything is just falling another fragrance that i paired with this is initials atomic rose this is delina on steroids it's not as creamy and woody as um delina exclusive but it's giving you rose if you love rose okay if you love rose you will absolutely love atomic rose so it opens up with bergamot this pink pepper this heady on bulgarian rose turkish rose egyptian jasmine madagascar vanilla and amber layered with this first of all on its own atomic rose is atomic it is a bomb it doesn't need any layering but if you're like a layering girl you love body care you love self-care you just love the whole experience of it all layer these two together oh my goodness oh my goodness you can save 20 percent on soavantgarde.com using my discount code the great 20 and get this you can also save 10% using my discount code AI the Great on Skin Potion. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box, okay, guys? Another fragrance Louis Vuitton's A Trap Rev. <sighs> Y'all, I mean, this just goes with so many fragrances. We can be here all day, okay? A Trap Rev, if you guys don't know, it's another beautiful rose fragrance. Let me see if I can find the notes. Oh, I don't have the notes for this, but it's a beautiful rose fragrance. I believe there's patchouli in here. There's rose. It's more on the lighter, airy side than um, obviously Atomic Rose and Delina Exclusive, but it's definitely there. The presence is beautiful. You will smell it. If you love rose, you'll love this. You can wear this in the winter, not winter, not when it's really, really cold, but I did wear this the other day, but it's not that cold here. I mean, it's cold, but it's not like, 20s or 30s or anything like that now when it gets to 20s and 30s i'm not wearing this but definitely 40s 50s you know you can definitely get away with this and pair it with this y'all this isn't going anywhere it actually changes the scent a little bit not changes it but it makes it a more creamier a more loud scent because like i said this can be a little bit fresh but layer it with this and it just makes it a beautiful sweet creamy rose obsessed okay so the last fragrance that i paired with this is by tiziana terenzi and it's delox y'all oh my goodness i can smell this still i had this on my i wore this to bed the other night and this stayed on my pajamas like i was smelling this y'all so long oh my goodness these two together are just so perfect rose honey there's no honey or anything in here i told you guys over the summer in a favorites video that the common sutra scent literally has me in a chokehold i don't know what it is it pairs beautifully with so many fragrances it's beautiful on its own it is loud it is present if you love rose if you love like a fruity sweet rose oh my goodness and it pairs so beautifully with these fragrances all right guys we've come to the end of the video leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some fragrances and body creams and body sprays and body oils that you've been layering let's talk about it like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace